Thank you for joining this meditative compline for Sunday, January 1st, 2023. Let us center ourselves to prepare to listen. Let us relax into a comfortable position. Be still, aware of God's presence within and around you. We begin with the sound of the meditation bowl to signal the opening moment of silence. Our call to prayer. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, hasten to help us. The Holy One grant us a restful night and peace at the last. Amen. Our night hymn, Creator of the Stars of Night. Creator of the Stars of Night your people's everlasting light. O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. When this old world drew on toward night, you came but not in splendor bright. Not as a monarch, but the child Of Mary, blameless mother mild Come in your holy might, we pray Redeem us for eternal day Now come, O Savior, to set free your own inglorious liberty. At your great name, O Jesus, now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things on earth with one accord, like those in heaven shall call you Lord. Our confession and assurance. O most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you, to the very secrets of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living Flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 139, verses 11 and 12. 
If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed. One God, now and forever. Amen. Our scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. The God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, is the God who shines in our hearts with light, bringing us the radiance of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We have this treasure in common earthenware, so that the incomparable power is clearly from God and not from us. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word, thanks be to God. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that here all darkness may be penetrated by your light, all troubles calm by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our night hymn, God who made the earth and heaven. God who made the earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given, for rest the night. May thy angel guards defend us, slumber sweet thy mercy send us, holy dreams and hopes attend us this live long night. When the constant sun returning on seals our eyes, may we born a new like morning to labor rise gird us for the test that calls us let not ease and self enthrall us strong through thee whatever befall us o oh, god most wise in peace we will lie down and sleep in the Lord alone we safely rest. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. May the divine help remain with us always, and with those who are absent from us. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Canticle of Simeon Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations, 
and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. My sisters and brothers in Christ, may the holy and blessed Trinity guard and bless us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.